Uh, Ron back here today on Ron Brown's YouTube channel and uh, we got the DJI Avada 2 today here uh, on our last video uh, we got you unboxed um, you know uh, kind of unboxing here first look or whatever and now we're gonna get you all um, updated uh, as far as uh, your firmware for your drone uh, your motion uh, 3 and uh, you know your goggles uh, through here. You got to get all these various components updated here, and you're going to need a key thing here to get started. You're going to need the current version of the DJI Fly app, which should be on your your phone, tablet, you know, whatever here, iOS or Android. So now you got everything unboxed and charged up. Uh, now the next thing to do is get everything updated here. So what you want to do is um, get your your phone out and open up the uh, the fly app here and make sure you have the latest version of the DJI fly app and I've already done this so we're just going to kind of talk you through here rather than show you because nobody wants to sit here and watch it update for 15 20 minutes so okay there's the fly app so at this point what you want to do is you want to get your goggles and um, you know if you uh, if you have a, a phone with a uh, you know USB-C connector on it just plug um, you know, just plug it right into the USB port on the bottom of the goggles three, right into your uh, your phone. Now I have a I have an older iPhone 14 Pro, so uh, I, I needed to use this adapter here. That you you plug this adapter and then you plug like the um, you know, the the Apple uh, you know USB A to USB uh, to Lightning into there or whatever, and then into the phone or whatever. So, but uh, for for uh, I've already did it here, so I'm not going to get that wire. Most people are up to date now. They have uh, the newer phone, the 15, or they have an Android that has USB-C. So plug the USB-C you know, right into this with the app open, and uh, then you want to get everything powered up. You want to power power the uh, goggles up this way. This is the order I did it. I'm not saying this is the best way. The only way that all I'm telling you is the way I did it here. I powered the goggles up first, then I powered the Motion 3 up, then I powered the drone up. And, um, you know, then I, once I get everything hooked up here, um, you know, uh, we'll say, say, then say I, whether I had this connected phone or not to the fly app, um, you know, then it'll pop up telling you what the fly app here, uh, it'll, it'll tell you that it has a, sorry, it's, I don't know why it keeps hitting. I don't know. Go away, go away. Cancel this. I don't want to do a question here. Okay, it'll tell you up here that you need to do uh, uh, updates here, and you'll need to do three different firmware updates here. You'll need to do one for the goggles, for the Motion uh, th uh, 3, and for the Avada 2. So um, you just kind of let them all run at once. Make sure you have no inter interruption of Wi-Fi, or don't turn any devices off, or unhook this cable. You just kind of leave everything, just go. Make sure... Everything has enough power, but you know when you're brand new to this, you probably powered everything up to full because nothing had any charge out the box. So you should be good as far as that's concerned. Just let it sit there until it's you know it's all everything. It's all the updates have disappeared from the fly app here. It'll want to act on the phone. It'll want to activate all all the devices here. So you know go ahead and hit the OK. You know let it activate all three of your devices. Then you'll be prompted to. Um, get DJI Care Refresh on the uh, devices here, and I already forget the price it was, but uh, you can do it right in device. Uh, you can, you know, on the phone here, you can put your, you know, credit card in, you know, what have you, and uh, and get your um, Apple Care right then and there. I mean, you could do it later on. You can go to the website and then get a number you move over, but it, it's easy peasy to do it right then and there while you're going through the, uh, you know, that whole, um, uh, process of getting everything uh, activated and synced and so on like that and that's pretty simple um, then after that you should be able you know, should be everything should be up to date you should be good to go uh, be aware that this drone is going to start out in a beginner mode uh, when you first start up, you'll have to go in there and turn beginner mode off. But, uh, you know, beginner mode means you're going to fly real slow here. So, again, this is all the, you know, components here that you're going to need to get your um, your updates done, uh, you know, for, for all the devices here. Um, now, there's an option. You can get your, uh, you know, your computer out, your laptop, and uh, connect them to the uh, computer via the USB-C. And... Um, update everything through the DJI 
You can update them through the DJI um, app, um, which you can, you know, you can download to, you know, a computer, Windows, or Mac, and that'll recognize the device and do the updates that way. Now, people prefer that way because uh, you're less likely to have some sort of a, you know, a blip, a, you know, a blip in the internet or the connection there, because they could download it all to the app. I can't remember the name of the app, the DJI, yada, yada, yada. I'll, I'll put it in the uh, down below or put pop it up on the screen here, but you, you just go, wherever you download your apps, that's, you just go get it, it's free. Uh, just make sure you have the right version for this drone here. Sometimes not all versions of the app work with all drones, so make sure you have the, said the version of the app that's compatible with the Avada too. So, okay, that's a big step when you get, um, you know, all that, all that updating done, uh, you know, and activation and uh, getting your care refreshed. Now, some people choose not to have care refreshed. Some people get state farm insurance, whatever. And I'm not here to tell you one way or the other what you should do or what's better or whatever. That's your decision. But if you do decide to get the uh, DJI care refresh, uh, it's a simple way to do it right, right then and there when you go through the activation process. So, okay. Um, short video today on, um, you know, on this here, just wanted to, a lot of people have questions about this. And again, I, you know, I didn't record the process cause again, it's a, it's a long process cause it, you know, it takes like 15, 20 minutes to everything to update. And, you know, I can only talk so long during that process, but again, you've everything in front of you need, you know, you have the fly app and again, make sure you have the current version of fly app on your phone and uh, you'll be able to do it uh, easy peasy. So um, go, uh, you know, if you're at this point here, go up and get your equipment updated.